watch a cartoon instead. I have patati and potato if you want. That show's for babies. I'm a big boy. <laughs> we could play with your snow globe? Ew. <sighs> hey, what's that? <gasps> ah! Oh, uh, it's nothing. Hey, no fair. Come on, what are all those gifts? Uh, look, I can't tell you that these are the gifts I've made for Adrian's next 35 birthdays, because you'd tell your brother Nino, and he'd tell Adrian, and Adrian would think that I'm totally crazy! Wait, maybe I am. Hmm. I can't tell you I'm one of Santa Claus's elves on a secret mission, and that I'm looking after one of his boxes of gifts. You wouldn't be interested, though, because gifts are for babies, right? And you're a big kid. That's a lie! What, that you're a big kid? No, that you're one of Santa Claus's elves! I can't say anything more. Hey, wait! That means you can give me my Christmas present early! Grobotech Ultimate Destructor! It's easy! It's gotta be the biggest one in the box! Now, wait a minute. I thought toys were for babies. They are! Most of the time, but Grobotech's different! You don't say. Well, I'm sorry, but Christmas rules are very strict. You don't open gifts early. Santa gives them at Christmas, not at Easter or Halloween. Otherwise, you might as well have a bunny or a witch delivering your presents. But since you know him, you could ask him. Can't you just call him on the phone or send him an email? Oh, no, you never disturb Santa Claus, except at Christmas. The rest of the year, he's in the North Pole to be, uh, supervising the production of toys. Besides, your present isn't here anyway. We elves don't watch over gifts for kids we know. One of the other elves must have it. Santa's the only one who would know where to find it because he knows who's getting what. He has a list of good children. There is one exception to the Christmas rule. Really? What is it? What is it? Santa is allowed to make one exception, but only for the best behaved kid in the whole world. Who's the best behaved kid in the whole world? Maybe... Ladybug? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, seeing as she saved Paris a gazillion times, that makes sense. Or a kid, for example, who cleans up all the mess he's made and plays quietly with toys that are for kids his age. Marinette, we're back! Did you guys have fun? Sure we did. How was the movie? Awesome. Thanks for watching my bro, Marinette. What's wrong, little dude? <laughs> No idea where that came from. Okay, I guess we'd better get going. Bye, girl. See you at school tomorrow. Yeah, bye, Nino. See you soon, Chris. Thanks again for looking after the little dude, Marinette. Have fun. Sure will. It'll be awesome. We're really good buddies. I know I shouldn't have told you that I was one of Santa's elves, but you were acting like... A baby, I know. Mommy says lying is wrong, so from now on, we'll always tell each other the truth, okay? Okay, as long as you stop trying to act all grown up. <laughs> You're not an elf, but you still have another secret, right? Uh, another secret? What, what do you mean? Like a secret identity? No, the <laughs> secret in that chest! Huh? Hmm? Okay, the truth. There's this guy at school I have a crush on. Ew! Oh. Don't stop! I hate romantic stuff! Oh. Gross! Oh, I am so in love! I dream about Ew, holding his stop. hand and looking at this... <laughs> I'm good friends with the best manga publisher in Japan, you know. I could talk to him about your comic book project if you like. A liar. You gotta stop obsessing over her, Marinette. I've graded your mock exam papers. Most of you did quite well, some better than others. But before I hand them back, Marinette, could you bring your school bag to me, please? I need to check something. <sighs> Today, someone placed an anonymous note in my mailbox claiming that you'd stolen the exam answers. And it looks like the anonymous person was right. But you answered all of the questions correctly. I did? Yes, but because I studied. Miss Bustier, Marinette always scores high in your tests. This is so terribly unlike you, Marinette. You're usually so well behaved. Of course. 
You put the answers in my bag. You're the anonymous informer. I'm coming to your defense and you're accusing me? You can't accuse someone without proof, Marinette. But I'm sure it's her. She stole the test answers. That's impossible, Marinette. Lila got the worst grade in the class. Th then she flunked the exam on purpose. Excuse me, Miss Bustier, but everyone here knows it isn't like Marinette to cheat. Mm -hmm. He's right. It doesn't make sense. She would never, never cheat. You know Marinette. She doesn't need to. Marinette, Lila, please go to the principal's office until we get to the bottom of this. I swore I'd make your life unbearable, Marinette. Let's see how you get out of this one. I'm not falling in your trap, Lila. Too late. You already have. Where are you going? You're about to find out. Ready? Ouch! 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 Smart your leg! Ouch! What happened over here? Huh? Push me down the stairs! In my office! But, sir, it wasn't me. I didn't do anything. I don't know why Marinette doesn't like me. I've really tried to be her friend, but she keeps calling me a liar, getting the others to gain up against me, and now she's pushing me down the stairs? Oh! Those are total lies! Go on, Lila. She even took a necklace I got from my grandmother. A fox pendant. Took? As in stole? <gasps> That's not true. I never stole anything. My daughter is not a thief. Why should we believe any of this? You're accusing her without any proof. Oh, uh, I have proof. Open your locker, please. My grandma's pendant! <gasps> She's making up this whole thing! It wasn't me! I didn't do anything, I swear! <gasps> you know Lila's lying, don't you, Adrian? Mr. Damocles, I don't think... Marinette Dupan Chang, you are expelled from this school! <gasps> As of this rare disease, sometimes I can't control things I say. I'm really sorry, Marinette. Thank you for your confession, Lila. It's very moving. Marinette, you will of course be allowed back in school tomorrow. <laughs> People should know better. Things aren't always what they seem to be at first sight. So, look, I don't know why you felt the urge to start all this, or why all of a sudden you lied to fix this mess, but I'm glad to see you're capable of coming back to your senses. Sometimes. As you said, things aren't always what they seem to be at first sight. <gasps> I knew my daughter was innocent all along. <laughs> oh, aren't those your classmates? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this week we'll be visiting the set of Gabriel Legrest's most recent photo shoot for an exclusive interview with this new muse, Miss Lila. Oh, I'm glad her disease doesn't stop her from following her dreams. <sighs> Do you live alone? Do you have any family? <laughs> you really are a nosy detective. Don't touch a thing, put the sack down, and leave. Uh. No! <laughs> oh, nice crypto! Hey, no, don't touch that! That's not how don't it's... Don't worry, I know how it's done. You take the dough and fold it in half, rhythmically, pressing it flat, snapping, snapping it slightly. slightly. Oh. It gives it elasticity and develops the gluten in the dough so that it holds together well after it's been baked. You're just a schoolgirl reciting a lesson. You don't really know how it's done. I do know my stuff. Maybe even better than you, old man. Better than me. Better than me. Better than me? Charlotte? Mary Louise Marguerite? Hey, didn't you hear that? <laughs> better than me? <laughs> we'll see about that. Get into position. Jermaine, we're going to make some bread together. Then we'll see who's the baker and who's only good for delivering flour. <laughs> See this yeast? It's been grown for over 2,000 years by my family, ever since my indomitable ancestor, Lofemix the Gaul, who used to make bread in a small Armorican village, fell alongside Vercingetorix. To be precise, he was my great 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 grandfather. But the Romans won. Puff! And started putting vegetables and cheese on the bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now it's pizza. You like pizza? You like pizza? 
You, Jermaine, like pizza? Yes, I do. Oh, she likes pizza. Oh, but that's not how it's done. You don't put cheese and tomatoes on bread dough. It's just like my son and his wife who got it into their heads that adding rice to the dough would make the inside of the bread lighter. That's not how it's done! But what if it's really yummy? Have you ever tried your son's bread? <laughs> no need. I already know it's not going to be good. Making bread with rice flour. That's not uh, how it's done! Well, I think it's creative. How? So, your son's a baker then? I don't have a son anymore. Not since he betrayed me. What, just because he put rice in the bread dough? That's not how it's done! If my bread comes out tasting as good as yours, will you agree to do just one thing for me? Why? What do you want me to do? Are you a baker or a nosy detective? Ha! Your bread won't be as good as mine anyway. <laughs> that song? It's the song my son and I used to sing when we were... needing... No. There's no way you could know that song. Unless, unless you're... No, that, that's impossible. Oh, yes, I am your granddaughter, Marinette. You're my granddaughter? <laughs> Liar! I don't have a granddaughter! Betrayal! Deceit! It's just like adding new ingredients to bread! Deceptive! That's not how it's done! Shoo! Get out! Get out! Out with the liar! No! I'm not leaving! Not until you've tasted my bread! You promised you would! Oh, you want to stay here? Stay here, then! Whether you like it or not, you are my grandfather! And today is your son's birthday! Don't you want to see him again? I can't hear anything! When were paid holidays instituted in France? Oh, Tiki, please don't talk about holidays. But it's for your history test tomorrow, Marinette. Uh, okay, first paid holiday, summer 1936. Good job. Uh, you're drawing on the t-shirt right now. Perhaps you should take a little break, Marinette. I can't, Tiki. It's all due tomorrow. Tomorrow! Tomorrow! Marinette! Ultimate Mecha Strike Tournament time! so long since I last played video games. No, I can't give in. Dad, with the t-shirt for kitty section, the history test, the sketches for Jagged Stone's new poster, I still have 72 hours worth of work left to fit in by tomorrow. And the rest of the week after, that's even worse. I don't have a choice. I have to stop playing. Stop playing? But Marinette, Playing is like that little pinch of salt in baguettes. It makes life tastier. Dad, I've got so many cakes baking in the oven right now, they're all on the verge of getting burnt. No amount of salt is going to fix this. Fine, that's too bad. But remember, watch your apple pie, sweetheart. It's bubbling all over your cinnamon fly. Oh, why does she have to grow so fast? It's a part of life. So, best of three do the laundry? Ha! I don't believe you. You've been practicing in secret. Triple time vacation. Bam! Yes, I got you. Oh, no. So, paid vacation was instituted to allow workers to... Take a break. Play video games. No! Uh, 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 found it. It really was just a dream. I filled it out. For real. Now, I just need to finish the last kitty section t-shirts, review my English lessons, and color it. It's for my new video game. <laughs> No worries, Master. Cat Noir wouldn't imagine in a million years that I'm Ladybug. And now I know that he's not a student at Francois Dupont. He thought it was an elementary school. Marinette, if you had been forced to give up being Ladybug because of me, I would have never forgiven myself. We all make mistakes, Tiki, but I know you're a friend I can truly rely on. No miraculous owner in all of history has ever been mentally and physically strong enough to use that many miraculous at the same time. Marinette truly is special, Master. 